This is a review of the HMI for the Premier Drawer Box Builder. From the home screen, we have multiple buttons that we can access to give the operator different features to perform functions on the machine. Upper left corner is your run menu for the machine. In the run menu, we've got home to our main menu screen. We can access our size matrix. We can actually also access our reload menu for reloading the tools when the cycle counters get to zero. Cycle modes on the machine, we have manual, we have semi-auto, and we have auto. Manual mode requires the operator to load the components, cycle the machine, the machine will clamp horizontally, vertically. Operator can inspect the drawer box. They cycle the uh, two-hand trip again. The down clamps will actuate. Operator can inspect the machine again. And then upon a third actuation, the machine will completely perform its cycle by doing the fastening of the corners as well as the drawer bottom. In semi-auto, it goes through one clamp sequence where the operator loads the components, the machine will clamp, down clamp, hold all the parts, operator can inspect. Upon next machine cycle, the fastening tools will actuate. In auto mode, the machine will go through a full sequence. Operator loads the components, cycles the machine, machine automatically clamps horizontally, vertically, down clamps, and the corner tools and bottom fastening tools will actuate in the same process. Bottom fastening can be turned on and off depending upon the drawer box that you're running. So if you are running boxes with a captured or a dado bottom, you can turn your bottom fastening off to disengage that feature. Our size matrix. We will pre-program this page with your specific drawer widths and your drawer depths. So the operator does not have to enter that information by hand. Reload menu. When your cycle counter gets to zero on your corner tools and your bottom tools, a light will start flashing. This menu allows the operator to go in and reload those tools and reset your cycle counters back to the full standard allotment, either 100 fasteners with our standard fasteners or 300 fasteners with the extended capacity tools. Entering your horizontal and vertical sizes. If you have a custom size that does not fall within the standard size matrix, the operator can select the button, manually enter the size, hit enter, and the machine will size accordingly. Same with the vertical, hit enter, the machine will size accordingly. Release reset. If in manual or semi-auto mode and the operator does not like what they see before fastening, hitting the release reset button will disengage the horizontal, vertical, and down clamps and allow the operator to remove the components and reset as necessary. Go back to the main menu. We've got our manual jog. So instead of manual or automatically sizing the machine, we can come in and utilize these four push buttons as a joystick on the machine. The machine needs to be in manual mode in order for this operation to take place. Currently it's displayed in orange, which means the machine is not in manual mode. By pressing it, you change it to green. The machine can now be set for manual sizing. In your settings, we can set the number of counters for the corner tool reloads, bottom fastener spacing, as well as when the tools are empty. We've also got timer settings available. How long does the machine allow each operation to happen in the sequence before we move on? So we've got our horizontal close timer, vertical close, horizontal clamp, vertical clamp, um, release delay, and our final clamp time. Sizing settings is very much the same thing. We've got an open hang adder for our horizontal and our vertical, which is a pre-programmed value to allow the operator to have the ability to load the components without being restricted. Coast in value, coast out value is what we allow for those air motors to reach position. 
We also have an I.O. menu on the machine where you can monitor each of the inputs and each of the outputs on the machine itself. So this is your first input card, your second in the remainder of your first input card, your second input card. Now you've got your first output card, your second output card, and your third output card. The red buttons show which outputs are disabled, which, and the green show which are enabled. This is a nice service feature for a maintenance personnel to come in and determine if there is a machine fault, how do we recover from it as to which state are these supposed to be in. Counter menu. Counter menu tells you how many units you've ran in this specific batch, how many units you've ran on a day. These can be reset per shift, per day, per week, so you can monitor how many units have been processed through the machine.